Take two. Yes, good morning. Now apparently, typing on a private WhatsApp chat group a statement saying parrots do not steal bicycles from your front garden warrants six months in jail up to six months in jail and an unlimited and also alongside an un, up to an unlimited fine now I think the uh, the person who's been prosecuted for that and found guilty for that should be appealing as fast as they can because I don't think that is a, a safe conviction at all. And also, if you're going to have laws that say, like, you know, that if you've called gross offence, um, you can go to prison, um, that there should be a time limit on that. It should be, I mean, if you're going to have those sort of laws, which you shouldn't have at all, you should be able to, the, the, you know, the freedom to be grossly offensive um, should be enshrined in everybody's everybody's you know the whole world should be allowed to be absolutely grossly offensive because um, it's a pressure valve uh, when um, people say things like that are really really <laughs> inflammatory and offensive i'm not talking incitement to violence incitement to people to hurt people or incitement for people to do things what i'm talking about is people letting off steam because if you put the press keep the pr pressure down on the you know if you've got a pressure cooker and you keep the lid down and you don't let the steam off eventually the whole bloody thing goes bang and it um causes absolute you know mayhem yeah so these these whoever make these laws and they do them with the best of intentions because they don't want to be they don't want people to be feel unhappy hurt or upset um i think yeah and basically uh they get hoist by their own petard like you know because you know what i find grossly offensive um and what other people find grossly offensive is but like that's night and day sometimes and you know if i became in power and i sort of like said right okay i find that grossly offensive so i'm putting you in jail yeah a lot of these people that are so-called woke to the end of the thing I, I find grossly offensive so if i was if i was in power or if people with like minds to mine ever got the um power they could use those laws to um batter the the the, the so-called woke wokerati and because things <laughs> things work both ways all the time and when they put these the wokerati bring in these laws oh we've got to bring these laws in everything like, they think that they're going to be in power forever when they're not everything is transient and everything goes both ways and things like that so the poor chap that's been prosecuted on that. Hey, there should be a time limit set on this. After a year, after a year, if somebody's written something that's mildly offensive, and usually something that's mildly offensive is can be either very funny or mildly funny. Um, the whole thing about writing offensive things is, or saying offensive things is, is nine times out of ten, it's for humour. It's not for hate, it's for humour. And humour is the opposite of hate, by the way. Humour is a, is a release of the pressure valve. It's a release to let people get it out and say things that are uncomfortable to listen to, but are true. I mean, what, what is in, the fact, in, the, in that sentence? I have never had a bicycle stolen from my front garden by a parrot is untrue. The statement is 100% true. Parrots have never stole, uh, you know, I think I, would, I, I think I would go out on a limb and say, there's never been a case of a parrot stealing a bicycle. Correct me if I'm wrong. You yeah. know, so if you write a statement that is 100% true, 
then you should be you should be it should be say you know, protected by that's the word protected by the law that tr truth has to be protected by the law this guy this chap should appeal 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 because that feels like a totally totally 100% unsafe conviction and i bet you if you dig deep in, in it there's something political behind it yeah i mean i'm not a fan of the police i was brought up to be very very wary of the police as my father said avoid the police because they're always looking for trouble <laughs> they just go around looking for trouble which is probably quite true anyway we need to sort out this this speech thing we need freedom of speech back in this country we need to be have the freedom to be offensive and rude and i'm not talking about um decency in insofar as there's a lot of things that you can be decent about and everything like that but to be offensive just it's it's a pressure valve and if you haven't got that pressure valve if everything's clamped down then the thing will blow in a most unusual way